Sonya Lene and welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, y'all know I'm excited because it's Monday. Honey, it's Married Life Monday. Y'all, and we got a great topic today. Wow, well, I don't know if I want to call it great, but it's always juicy. <laughs> All right, y'all, today I got my Twizzler candies and we minding our business around here. Don't ask me what's in my glass. I won't ask you what's in yours, but you need to get a glass, okay? All right, so today we are talking about haul passes. Now, y'all know it's some couples out here that make sure they give out haul passes to kind of keep things spicy. For me, it's a no, boo. <laughs> It's a no for me. I cannot give out a hall pass, y'all. I can't do it. I mean, you're going to have to figure it out. All right? So anyway, so I wanted to talk about this because y'all know I just came back off vacation, right? So y'all know I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of scrolling through y'all videos, and a lot of, you know, looking on Facebook. So yeah, so me and my husband kind of came past something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I wanted to see what y'all thought about it, okay? But first, let's just talk about this for a minute. Hall passes, permission to cheat. Oh, I don't really know if that's a good idea. And then you don't know who, where they come from, what they got. I ain't doing it. I cannot. I cannot allow my husband to go out and cheat on me. Not one time, not two times. Not no times, okay? <laughs> it's just not going to happen. So I want to read this little post that somebody made to you guys. And I want you to tell me what you think about it. All right? All right. It says, me and my husband have always said throughout our marriage, we both get to have sex once with someone else. <sighs> This could be tomorrow or in 25 years. His dad is only 20-ish years older than me. And he's still young and hip, if you know what I mean. So, this is the one person I want to use mine on. <laughs> How do I go about bringing it up to my husband? Any advice will be appreciated. Thank you. Pack your bags. Because you're not about to sleep with your husband's father and he be okay with it, okay? I'm going to drink to that. He not going to be okay with that, okay? Go on, pack your bags because you about to get ready to go, okay? Now, if he gave you a hall pass, you could have chose anybody. Why you going to choose the front door? You couldn't even go around the back. You got to choose the front door. You so ungrateful. Anyway, hall passes are dangerous, okay? It's dangerous for your marriage. It's dangerous for your relationship, your bond. If you, if you are in a relationship with somebody and you build a bond, oh my God. And I know I'm being funny right now, but for real, for real, when you get married to somebody, you build a bond. There is a certain bond that you have with each other that nobody else should be able to come into okay now i know some people believe in bringing in third parties and you know and that's your business okay let me go ahead with my disclaimer now while i'm thinking about it i'm not a licensed professional neither am i a marriage counselor so guess what this is all my opinion okay now, you can take it or leave it. And this is me seeing it from my eyes, okay? Y'all can drop down in the comments and we can discuss it. I'll be happy to, all right? <laughs> anyway, y'all, it's just dangerous. It's like a person who, in my opinion, a person who will allow that type of thing, it's like they got to be living on the edge, um, what is it about yourself that you don't like or that you're insecure about that you have to say, okay, well, if he can't get this from me, he need to get it from somewhere else. 
not gonna happen listen to me that 80 20 rule is real now when you go into your marriage you need to go into it knowing that you are not going to get a hundred percent of what you want now accept it or don't get married okay now I don't know if I know people that's been married a long time that's then gave out hall passes and stuff like that. Now, some people take hall passes and ain't nobody gave you one. You just selfish. Okay. And then, you know, you get forgiven and have the nerve to do it again. Selfish. You need to learn a lesson. Anyway, so we got to uh, basically learn how to love ourselves. Okay. We got to love ourselves enough, have enough confidence in ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, because this is a woman who wants to sleep with her husband's father. OK, she wants to sleep with her husband's father and she wants him to be OK with it. What is wrong with our people today? That's mental. OK, that, that, that's bad. That's not good. I don't care how many hall passes you get. You don't mess with his family. That's why I said hall passes are dangerous. Now, I want y'all to drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about hall passes, how y'all feel about it. Because I ain't here for it, okay? I know Kevin Claiborne ain't about to ask me for no hall pass. Mm. Ain't gonna have them. Which my husband ain't gonna ask for no hall pass because he got enough of this right here. I always say, he ain't gonna have no energy to mess with nobody else. Honey, number one, I'm all over him. Number two, I play a lot. I'm taking up all his mental space and his physical, physical, uh, physical space. <laughs> he ain't got time to be messing with nobody else. Honey, not the time nor the energy. <laughs> Cause I play too much. <laughs> All right, y'all, drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this whole debacle. Like, it is crazy. Like, if y'all are on, y'all here for the, the hall passes. You know, some people are. So let me just go ahead and say, I don't want to offend nobody. But like I said, this is my opinion. This is where I see it. Okay? So let's drop down in the comments and have a controversial conversation so i can kind of just kind of learn where y'all coming from you know on this subject uh, some people are here for it some people are not okay i ain't, i ain't here for it i, I can't uh, i can't it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot it takes up a lot of mental space i don't want to be thinking okay my husband said you know what i'm gonna take my hall pass tonight he go out, I'm sitting at home worrying about is she cuter than me? Is her booty bigger than mine? Which most likely it probably is. <laughs> oh, if you know me, you know I'm flatty patty. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm worried about, you know, a lot. I want to know because I'm the type of person, I'm very curious. I just want to know what's going on. And then if he actually come home and say, yeah, 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 she was prettier than you. Yeah, her butt was bigger than yours. Yeah, the, you gonna feel some kind of way, okay? It takes up too much mental space when you could be doing a whole lot of other things, okay? I just can't do it. I just cannot allow myself to be worried, stressed, insecure. You are, you, you putting your, when you allow those things, you're putting yourself self in a bad mental state don't blame it on your husband don't blame it on your wife don't blame it on nobody but yourself because you allowed it you allowed it now if you happy with that kind of life if that's just a, if you just free spirited and you know you happy with that kind of life your husband or wife happy with that kind of life that's just how y'all live I ain't even talking to y'all. <laughs> I'm not even talking to you, baby, because do you, boo. But I'm just talking about people who love hard, who 
are monogamous and committed to serving and loving your spouse, I can't see you being okay with that. I can't see you being okay with that. I can see you being stressed, trying to fix it. Like it takes years to fix something like that if it can be fixed. Because when you when your heart is all in, sometimes you can allow yourself to make decisions that you know are not good for you because you want to please somebody else. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Y'all, I ain't got nothing else to say on this. I want I want to hear what y'all got to say. So I want y'all to drop down in the comments, okay? Let me know what y'all think about this situation. And if hall passes are allowed in marriage, how do it work, okay? How can you make a situation like that work to where you're still 100% happy in your relationship? Because I can't see it working. But somebody may know how it can. So I'm listening. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to share this video, y'all. Share it with everybody. And until next time, guys, bye. Monday.